Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Preventing Cognitive Decline podcast. I'm Jane Rogers. Welcome back. Dr. Paulo Cassano is our guest today. He's an expert in photobiomodulation, a revolutionary intervention to treat and to prevent brain disorders like dementia. Dr. Cassano is the Director of Photobiomodulation at Massachusetts General Hospital, and he's also an Assistant Professor of Psychiatry at Harvard. Tell me about transcranial photobiomodulation. That's what you're working on now with your latest research project. And first of all, tell folks what that is. Right. So, uh, you know, if you look at the semantics, uh, it's really transcranial. So it's across your head, across your skull. Um, but the good news is that for those who are already getting scared here. There's no surgery. It's not invasive. We're not putting anything physically. It's really the photon, the the light, like in photo, uh, that gets across. Um, So you're shedding the light over the head, gets across the skull, uh, the, the different layer, the meningeal layers, gets to the brain. And, and then it gets to the last part, modulation. It has an impact in stimulating brain function. So in other ways, it is a modality to uh, get the brain to jumpstart, to make it short. Mitochondria are the energy powerhouse of the cell. Mm-hmm. Uh, within the mitochondria, uh, you have these final steps of the metabolism Um, of all energy products, uh, which is the respiratory chain that happens on the membrane of the mitochondria. And it turns out that the light um, kind of shunts and gets to the very end step of this respiratory chain and brings energy there. I've been told that my family's problem, both my parents passed with Alzheimer's, I've been told my family's problem is mitochondrial insufficiency. And Mm -hmm. what you're saying is that there is a chance that light can help help that problem area in there. Yes, yes. There's no question about that. That has been demonstrated in uh, in animal models, in cultures. Interestingly, even in humans, we are now conducting a study at MGH looking specifically at, with um, um, MRS or uh, magnetic resonance spectroscopy based on phosphorus, um, specifically to look at mitochondria after a course of treatment of eight weeks, and that's uh, in fact our mm-hmm. Alzheimer's study, um, to see if in fact uh, mitochondria are boosted in terms of her own uh, metabolism. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. that will really answer your question. When are you going to have those results? Uh, You know, that's a question that uh, our participants always ask. And, you know, when am I going to know if I got the sham or I got the real thing? And, uh, you know, when 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 is this going to be available? Well, in terms of the results, uh, it will take another two to three years in um, in less than a year, um, you know, my expectation is that there would be uh, clinics, um, med spa, um, or um, also at your average physical therapy shop, um, you know, some possibly, um, I believe, in uh, within uh, um, nursing homes uh, or independent living. Mm-hmm. Um, devices that are meant to help with improving performance and offsetting some myoconia impairment will be available. And providers that are um, trained, uh, skilled, and have a support system uh, with consultation uh, will be available. 